Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manuals for the T, for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 86. Please turn to it, page number 86, and today is our lesson number 36. Yesterday we covered the basic concepts dealing with Roman numerals. Today we're going to continue our discussion because we need to solve the three problems that you see on the page. There are three problems that, 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 that are there that you can see there. In addition to those three problems, we're going to do a few extra just for, just for practice. Okay, let's get going then. So, recapitulation of what we learned yesterday. These are the basic symbols that we have to know. M stands for 1000. M comes from the word mil. Mil means 1000. N stands for mil, which means 1000, hence the letter M. Mil does not mean million. Then, the next one that we have to know is D, which comes from demi-mil. That's how they say 500. They did, they did not say 500, they said, the Romans said, they refer to 500 as half a thousand, demi meal. Demi means half, hence the letter D. Then we have C for century, which is 100, L for 50, X, V and I, of course we know those, those are very simple. Let's get going. Number one, we are given D, these are practice problems, these are practice problems there. The very first one is D L I V. Very simple, very straightforward. The only thing that we have to worry about, the only thing that I sometimes have to pause and think about is the 50. The rest are logical to me. The rest are logical because mil means 1000, if you know that, then M is for 1000, demi mil is 500, hence the letter D, C of course is a century, and then X is 10 and V and I and all the rest are very simple. L is the only one you have to stop and think about which is 50. So here we have D which is 500. Remember Roman numerals are additive. We're just going to keep on adding until, until we translate the whole thing. Then we have L. L is 50. L is for 50. And then we have 4. That's it. 500, 50 and 4. So it's 554. 554. Let's do the next one, shall we? It says the museum has a piece of pottery which is uh, dated, uh, which is marked as M C D X L V. Let's see what we can do. Key here is to remember that it is additive. Just keep on adding and you'll get there. M is 1000. Now here we see a C and then a D. D means 500. If a higher number, if a lower number rather, if a lower number appears to the left of the higher number, if a lower number, if a number, uh, if a symbol, if a symbol denoting a lower value appears to the left of a symbol denoting a higher value, then that low, that number on the left is to be subtracted from the higher number. So this is actually 500 minus a 100. So that's 400. And then we have a 10. That was very easy. Oh, it's not a 10. You see, I made a mistake. It's not a 10. I thought it was 10, but then as I got, as I went to this one, I realized that this is 50. We can't have 50 after the 10. If, which, if 50 is after the 10, one more time, if a symbol denoting a lower value appears to the left of the symbol denoting a higher value, then that symbol lower number has to be subtracted from the higher number. So that is not a 10. That is in fact, that is in fact, this, this is in fact 50 minus 10, which is 40. And finally, we have 5. Similarly, this one was 500 minus a 100. Let's write it like that. This is 500 minus a 100. And this was 1000. So that's it, we are done. So it's 1000, 1000, one thousand four hundred and forty-five is what it is. One thousand four hundred and forty-five. We translate this into one thousand four hundred and forty-five. Let's do the next one. 
The next one we have to convert 639 from Arabic numerals to Roman numerals. Let's do it on the top. 369. 369. 369 would be written as 300 plus a 60 plus a 9. Remember, Roman numerals are additive. So how do we write 300? 300 is very simple. 300 is just C, C, C. How do we write 60? 60 is just 50 plus 10. So 50 plus 10. And finally 9. How do we write 9? 9 is going to be 1 minus 10. There you go. That's it. We're done. 9 is 1 minus 10. That's it. So those were the three problems that are given in the book. We're going to do a few more. Okay? We're going to do about a dozen. So there are, there are three that are given in the book. We're going to do about nine more. And of course I need the room, so we're going to have to keep on erasing because I don't want to erase the symbols. Let's do the next one. Number four. 647. How would we write 647? Well, 600 would be written as, 600 would be written as 500 plus 100. That's how they write 600. Then we have to write 40, which is going to be 50 minus a 10, and finally a 7. So that's all there is. 500 plus 100, 500 is demi mil, remember, so it's DC, 50 minus a 10, so it's 10 and then 50, that's your, that's your 40, and then 7. This is, this is your 40. That's it, we're done. Let's do the next one. Number 5. 217. Can you do it on your own? 217 is very straightforward. It's 100 plus 100 plus 17, which is 10, 5, and 1, and 1. That's all. Again, 100 plus 100. 100 plus 100, 200 plus a 10, 210 plus a 5, 215, and then 7. Let's do the next one. Number, number 6. As I said, we're going to do, we're going to do a dozen. Number six. Can you write seventy-seven? See if, see if you can write seventy-seven. Pause the video. Do it or do it yourself. See if you can manage seventy-seven. How would we write seventy-seven? Romans. The way they wrote seventy-seven is bloody awkward, very time-consuming, very uneconomical. Not just seventy-seven. The entire number is six of the system that they have. Very cumbersome. Seventy would be written as fifty plus a ten plus a 10, that's your 70, and then 7. So 50 is L, X, X, and then 10, 7. There we go. That's how we would write. That's how we would write 70. Or 77 rather. Let's do the next one. That was number 6. As I said, I have a dozen of them. So we have 6 down, 6 to go. Number seven. One hundred and thirty-four. How would we write one hundred and thirty-four? One hundred and thirty-four would be written as one hundred plus thirty plus a four. One hundred plus thirty plus a four. How do we write one hundred? One hundred is just C. How do we write thirty? Thirty is very easy. X, X, X. And how do we write four? Very good. One hundred and thirty-four. There is your thirty. Number eight, 268. See if you can manage it. See if you can manage it on your own, 268. Again, 200 would be simply be 100 and 100. Now do we write 60? 60 would be written as 50 plus 10. That's the only way they knew of writing 60. 50 plus a 10. 50, which is L and a 10. And then eight, which is the only way they knew of writing 8 was 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. 8. There you go. Number 9. Imagine having to multiply these numbers. My God. Only the highly trained people in the Roman Empire. It's amazing that they would build a civilization as advanced as that with such primitive numbering system. The only people who could multiply 237 by 472 were very skilled people and will take them entirely to figure it out. Very cumbersome process. Number nine. 
536. If you can manage it, 536, well, 500, which is D, 30 is very simple, 30 is this, 30 plus 500, and then 6, which is simply I and V and I, 536. Number 10. Each time, each time you should pause the video if you want to as soon as I finish writing the number. 1072. 1072 will be written as 1000 plus 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 2. Technically 2 would not be written as 2, 2 would be written as 1 plus 1. I'm just trying to save some time. M for 1000, then a 50, which is L, and then we need 70, so we need 20 more, so X, X, and then 2. I, I. 1072. Let's do the penultimate one. Number 11. Where can we squeeze it? Let's do the penultimate one, second to the last one. 2133. 2133 would be written as a thousand plus a thousand. 2000 here. And then 133 would be 100, which is C, and then a 30, and then a 3. So this is written as 1000 plus a thousand plus a hundred plus 10 plus 10. Plus 10, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. That's how they knew how to write. That's, that's their, that was their way of writing. 2133. Hence the remark yesterday, the very first remark we made was Roman numerals are additive. This is how they wrote it. They, keep on, they kept on adding numbers until they got to where they wanted to go. Let's do the very last one, shall we? And this is your last chance, so I do in fact want you to pause the video and do it yourself. 3,288. Pause the video, take your time while I take my sip and do it yourself. How do, we, how do they write 3,000? Well, 3,000 is very simple. It will be 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000. How do we write 200? 200 would be 100 plus 100. How do we write 80? 80 would be written as... We're running out of room and this is getting too ridiculous. So this is... This is 1000 plus 1000. I'm, I'm not going to... This is, this is too silly. This is too silly. 3000 would be written as 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000, which is M, M, M. 3000. 200. How do we write 200? That's very easy. It's 100 and 100. How do we write 80? 80 is very simple. It's 50 and a 10 and a 10 and a 10. 80. And how do we write 8? Which is simple. 5 and a 1 and a 1 and a 1. What do you know? What a nice looking number. Now imagine multiplying this number, 3288, by 7537. That's what I call having fun. Very bloody laborious process. Do you understand? I will see you tomorrow. Oh, we never talked about the word penultimate. When did we learn the word penultimate? We learned, I'm taking my vocabulary cards here. Just give me a second. There, there can't be that many words beginning with letter P. And I'll tell you exactly which day we learned the word penultimate for those of you who do not know the word or for those of you who are interested in improving your vocabulary. Day number 11. Vocabulary day 11. Just type in Keshwani, always put in my name and then vocabulary words, vocabulary words day 11 and you will see a video in which we learn the word penultimate along with some other words. It's very important that you work on your vocabulary, not just for this exam but for life in general. It's, it's good to have a vocabulary that is a little bit above average if not if not too much, but at least it has to be somewhat above average. Do you understand? Talks a second to last makes you sound like a child. Penultimate problem.
I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.